this is it then. I'm in the car. I'm on my way. I'm getting out. And I'm not entirely sure where I'm going. So, um, or oh, where I'm going to get some meths on the way because I don't think there are going to be any trees where we're going. So it's just the little trangia and uh, we'll see what we can do. I might just be a bit short on meths. So I'll catch you in a bit. Either at home cooking my tea or up on a moor. See you in a bit. Lovely blue sky. It's going to be sunset by the time I get where I'm going. To walk up a hill I've never walked up before. From a village I've never walked out of before. To find a campy spot somewhere I've never been before. And it's going to be freezing. Well, just below freezing overnight probably. Yeah. It'll be a good one. You know, when you look down at the seat next to you for that warm jacket that you were bringing with you that you left in the car earlier and it's not there and you look at how you're dressed. <laughs> yeah, that. Pretty sure I stuck in an extra, like, fleecy jumper and I've got me montane, featherlight, whatever windy thing and it's not gonna rain it's not gonna rain it says so it's not gonna rain so um <laughs> see you in a bit still no meths yay we've got something um it's all I could find in the shop shop I was going to was shut anybody played with Vango bioethanol spirit fuel if it can summon up the uh, spirits of a Long dead chef, it might help with the food, I guess. Thing is, me bottle for the fuel's already got meths in it. It'll mix fine, won't it? Won't be a problem. Still, we'll find out soon enough. Here we go. Bye bye, Bakewell. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> oh. Right, I made it, I've got fuel, I've got some shiny new poles that are uh, to help me do a bit more walking because <laughs> we're no fitter but then when there's hills like this I'm going to need some help getting fitter. They're also going to help me with the tarp shelter if I set it up, but gosh, this is steep. So anyway, I'm on my way up out of Bamford now, up onto the moor. Um, I was hoping to catch the sunset, set off late. There's a few clouds anyway. The sky is lighting up a bit though probably doesn't quite pick it up behind me but I'm gonna put you away until I've got to the top of this ridiculous hill which is gonna take me a while so I'm gonna put you away put these poles back on my hands now I've realized how helpful they actually are and I'll uh, speak to you again soon well I'm gutted that this sunrise is happening only halfway up the hill I'm being forced against my will to stop walking that's just a brilliant skyline we well, probably can't see though quite so easily unless we zoom in a bit and change the contrast is yeah still a bit chilly on the shady sides and uh, yeah I did say I forgot my coat never mind I'll try not to camp in snow oh once again it's getting a bit dark um, it's 
a little bit breezy up here. So I'm kind of wishing I brought my jacket. Ooh. I think I've just flushed a bird. <laughs> but I can't be bothered to take my spare out and put it on yet. But just... Oh, what a skyline. That's what I'm up here for. I think this could be it. Tiny little dip near the top, near the cairns I wanted to get to, but there's hardly a breeze. You can see the uh, skyline that way. And could hear the rock that was shaped like a human talking a minute ago as well. I wouldn't be surprised if someone else is out. But I think the sun's going to be coming up over that way, the wind's coming from that way. So I can set up with the hole at the front of the tarp facing over there. And that would be spectacular in the morning, possibly. Only problem is, if I put my head at the hole then, I'll be head down. So we'll see what I can do anyway. There is, however, a little strandy cloud up there. It's gonna miss me, but I'll uh, I'll get a little tarp tent set up before doing anything else. I think we'll see what happens. See you in a bit. There's probably gonna be a little bit of wind noise, but just look at that. It's time for some tea. I'm in the tent. It's like a little tunnel. I'm failing miserably at what I think people who do this regularly call admin. Put my stuff's all in. It's a bit nippy out. I've been hanging around out there for a bit and then, as I mentioned, I forgot my coat. So I know it's time for something to eat. So put that down. Mini tea. Here comes the mini trangia. Yeah? That's not going to be big enough for tea. So, this is, well, this is that stuff. Oh, and I know I'm in the tent. I know I'm in a tent. And I know I'm about to light a stove. And I know that's naughty and bad. Um, but there's a dirty great hole at that end. There's a gap all the way around. There's no tent in it. So I'm not particularly concerned. I want food. I have got two branches to rub together if I wanted to anyway. There we go. Because although there's a breeze Outside, there's barely more than a draft inside. Stick that on. Now, I shall be having some sliced mushrooms, some sliced onion, and a little, just a diddy steak. And no, that's not all going to fit in the mini tea, is it? What I haven't got on the list of forgotten goods is the plate I was going to bring. Oh, I thought I'd forgotten to put it in. Yeah, I brought myself some little snack stuff. Shocker cola. Caffeinated German recipe chocolate. Yeah, I'm starting to come on. <laughs> All around it. The butter's not renowned for its 
choppability, is it? Oh, no, it's, oh dear, oh dear, accidentally got a massive lump. Slash some shrooms up in the air, I think. Right, I'm not going to unwrap the steak yet. I am going to get a tea bag ready for this. So, I'll have to see if it was too dark. I'm pretty sure it was. So you'll see the tarp tent in the morning. It's not as spacious for sitting in and trying to film as I kind of hoped. I think I've got... Because I, I could sit up full height without any bother at all, but... I've just sort of put you in a funny place and it's not really uh, not really helping anyone. Get you up here. See I'm kind of <laughs> up in the apex and leaning on the top of it. Once I'm lying down and stuff it'll be fine but until then obviously it's a bit less delightful. Ooh I can hear a sizzle. Don't burn your fingers, Christopher. The nettle tea I've got. Kettle at home goes on at 80. So, not too bothered right now. So, I'll bring you back when I've actually got something to uh, drink and then eat. Alrighty. Oh, it's getting steamy. Camera's getting steamy. Everything's getting steamy. Onions are coming on quite nicely there. So, I'm going to throw in the shrooms. See if we can get a bit of colour on them. Kind of running out of space for mistake. Stuff's going to have to come off and go back on again, isn't it? Can I get a sophisticated camera cloth? Here we go, sophisticated camera cloth. It's not really a hanky. There, that's better. Look, you're back. Uh, this stuff's starting to cook down a little bit now. Getting in. Here comes a sizzle. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Just give it a few minutes each side. So we shall dip into the bottom of the uh, culinary's bag. Salt and pepper, obviously. We'll have a little pepper. And we might just have a little sampler of them. Um, Moutardo pan de pizza de Dijon gingerbread Dijon mustard. It's a tiny little thing. Is that focusing? Can you see that? Yeah, maybe you can. Okay, don't know if you can see anything through the haze and the smoke. Oh, it smells good. Gonna put the uh, shrooms and onions back on. I don't know if that'll see the whole thing in amongst the steamy gloom. Little bonfire <laughs> in my tarp tent. Ridiculous, I know. Look at my face, not my food. It's lovely up here. I do wish I got up earlier. I do wish I got my coat. That would have helped as well. But um, this is a spot to mark on the map to come back again I think. Shall we see what we've created here? Only just the tiniest little ooze. Oh. Oh, 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 but the taste. Oh, but the taste. I'm going to enjoy a brew. On this steak. Cheers, mate. Now, where's some of that mushroom? Mm. Alright. 
forgot my coat, freezing coat, <laughs> freezing cold, tap turning. I will uh, see you lot for breakfast in the morning. <sighs> Quite looking forward to a coffee and some breakfast. See you in the morning, eh? Nate. Oh. Hmm. Morning, folks. Welcome to the uh, small tarp tent of condensation. Oh, warm enough, but yeah, I'm very glad I stuck the sleeping bag in the bivvy bag. It could have been a bit of a miserable damp night otherwise. Still, not a bad night's kip. I assume it's grouse or something that have been strutting around the outside making some noise. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get up. Looking a little grey out, so I don't think there was sun rising to be done. There is breakfast to be had though. I have to see whether I can Ooh, dress up warm enough to cook outside. Or we just finish off, I think we'll just finish off condensationing up inside here. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit when I'm up. Morning. <laughs> It's not that it's a bit damp on the inside or anything, but yeah, still, this should keep me dryish. And if I brought my coat, I could put that on once I got out. Never mind. It's foggy as out there, so for now, kettle's on, and it's time for a bit of breakfast. I'll bring you back in a second. So, breakfast. The plan. Dun, dun, dun. Ziploc bag. Ziploc bag containing a bit of self raising flour, a bit of caster sugar, a bit of bicarb, a pinch of salt. It's essentially the same recipe as my drop scones, but it'll not have milk in it, obviously. I'll stick in a bit of water. Oh, and to make it a bit more breakfasty. Uh, I stole the kids' last packet of raisins. Stick them in as well. The plan works thusly. Finish boiling water. Bannock mix goes on frying pan. Frying pan goes on heat on as low as I can get it with the simmering. It'll cook, right? Oh, and I'm even thinking of putting the pan over the top as kind of like a lid. Yeah, it's a transier oven. By the way, um little SIG fuel bottle, yeah? If you've ever wondered whether it's worth getting one of these, how durable or whatever it might be, I bought this when I got the mini transier, which will be nigh on 20 years ago. Uh, I used it, and then I left it filled with meths for maybe 15 years when I found it could barely get the lid off just about managed to get the lid off it was full of like jelly stuff corroded away um, cleared it out seals and everything still fine still works still no trouble at all looks manky as still works fine so um yeah, that was an unfortunate abuse I put it through. Anyway, I'm going to stick some water in this uh, bannock mix. Well, the neighbours like the sound of it. Touch more water. Oh 
ya. Oh yeah, coffee. What do you mean, bit Chris? It's going to fall over. Yeah, fair point. Brought lots more coffee this time. Much more optimistic about how much coffee I will have. Oh, this is that packed coffee stuff. In another video, I tried to put a link thing. I can't. I'm not. I'm not important enough to YouTube to put links to things. So, um, I'll tell you what, I'll put a link to it in the uh, description below. Here we go. Watch the disaster unfurl as I pour boiling water all down my front. Half in the car, half in the air press. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Goes on that. And that just slowly eases down. Squeak out the last bit of air. And there we have it. A well, perfect cup of tea. Oh yeah. Tea, coffee. Cheers. There you go. There you go. <laughs> it doesn't want to let go. I guess you will see this next. For a grand unveiling. In a while. See you later. <coughs> okay, midpoint reveal. Maybe midpoint, maybe done. It's just too hot to touch, brilliant. So we're about half a coffee down. Ooh, oh. It's sticking. Oh, look at that! It's coming up. It's filling up. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that needs flipping. Oh, I think you're right, but I think the top's all. Ah, uh, top's soggy. Oh, how am I going to do this? Pipe down to about yay now. Seems like it's a good cooking temp. Ooh. Well, it's not stuck. I mean, that was never likely with the huge quantity of uh, butter that some fool put in. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, this, this, this is going to do something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Check that bad boy out. Oh, it even smells of cooked raisins. Get on, get on. Ouch. Unless I touch the pan, if I touch the frying pan, then I'm gonna burn my fingers. What do you mean you could see that coming? Why don't you tell me? Oh, get in, get in. There.
gentle woof of the trangier. Little crackly sizzle of some bannocky bread stuff. And birds going off all around. Yep. I could come back up here. Let's see how we're doing. How we doing in here? <laughs> Looks awesome. What's it like underneath? Oh, looks amazing. Hey. It sounds hollow. Do you think it could be done? It's hot. Surprise, surprise. Oh, don't open it. <laughs> I don't want it to be ruined. Oh, it can't be done already, can it? Yeah, give it another five minutes. Another five minutes. That's going to be epic. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm a happy bunny. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Steam. It wasn't steaming before. Oh, I haven't burnt the other side, have I? Just a tiny bit. Oh, I bet it just fell off. Tastes awesome. Mmm, mmm, mmm. -hmm. Oh. It's cooked all the way through. Come on, focus on it. Look at that fluffy loveliness. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. That was delicious. <sighs> Beautiful flaky awesomeness. <sighs> oh yeah. This is happening again. Hey. <laughs> Dolly there was some snow about still. Um it's <laughs> It's not the uh, sun-filled, sunrisey vista that I was uh, hoping for. I did a time-lapse thing last night of the moon going down. I'll probably have stuck that in. That was over there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but still, just before I pack up, I'll give you a quick tour of where the tarp tent was. It's a bit nippy out here, so here we are. It's a DD's Tarp M, three and a half by two and a half, and from the outside, it doesn't look like a bad size. No, you can <laughs> you can tell I've had the stove on in there, can't you? Where it's dried out, and it's come through. When I came out this morning, there was a little dry patch up here. It extends down here. This was all dry because that's above where my head was. Problem is, the poles, because they run straight down the middle, it's actually a little bit tight. Now we can see where the camera is. So, I think next time, for one, an extra peg out on this side. A little bit more space down one side, um, but apart from being a little bit cramped, it's not that windy, but it's stayed up. But it's uh, it's worked. Okay, it is. 
it is definitely a decent shelter because I've been out here for about two minutes now and it's cold and to be honest right now I'm not exactly dressed for the weather be right though I might not stop and make another brew I've packed up most of the stuff in the inside I don't mind packing up the tarp bed so I'll get on with that alright that's us packed up no trace heck they must be poles they are no trace giving it all a good tidy chase down the errant bin bag that ran off oh my rubbish it's a nice spot up here. That was a beautiful sunset. I imagine the sunrise would be just as good. So I could well be back up here at some point. Maybe just a straight bivvy in warmer weather. Or like um, just using the little tarp magic carpet. If I remember, I'll pop up here. Uh, a link to the one where you use the magic carpet. You just see the thumbnail and be able to see what it was like. If I use that in the woods, but that'd be glorious up here on a lovely day. But now it's just clouded up and clouded up and clouded up. Because they didn't bring any gloves. Um, I'm going to put you away. Start hitting that hill. See you when I get back to the car. You know, so you made you know I made it back safe. Or something. See you in a bit. <sighs> Getting back down onto the steepy bit. Wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble. Only had the one slip on the wet concrete so far. We'll make a way. Whatever clough this is, starting to come out the bottom of the uh, cloudiness a bit now. As we come past, there he is. Bamford Carnival from a, a while ago. You know what? Even with a bit of a fog, it's still pretty good. We back down on the road, ignore the um, signs back up there. It would appear that the footpath's kind of still operational. Oh, a little further, we'll find the car. See you in a minute. One of the reasons I'm here is because I was looking on the map for somewhere with a bit of a hill to walk up that'd at least be a little bit remote when I got there but I could leave the car in like a village not paranoid or anything but last time I uh, dumped my car in a lay-by got broken into years and years and years ago but there it is Little Jazzmeister. Ah, made it this far. Ah, I've enjoyed that. And seeing as the rest of this is just going to be a drive to get home, I'll leave it there. Quite an enjoyable camp. Learned some stuff. My tarp's not really big enough for a tarp tent if it's going to get damp, which is going to be any time it's really cold. Last time I made that tarp tent, I made it with me um, four and a half by three and a half meter tarp, um, tarp. So no real surprise that it's a bit different this time, is it? But what a breakfast. Ooh, I'm up in my breakfast game all the time. Anyway, if you've been watching this, thank you very much. Hope you've enjoyed some of the others and uh, I'll see you next time because I'm pretty sure there'll be a next time. See ya.